Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain, and welcome back to the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. This is episode number 44. Today, we're going to be continuing in our discussion on Ohio probate and how it works. Today, specifically, we're talking about the role of the executor. What does the executor do? What are they responsible for? How does all that work? Well, that's what we're going to be covering today. So first of all, an executor, what is it? Well, it is a person, generally, who has been appointed by the probate court to serve as the fiduciary for the estate. Well, what's a fiduciary, you might ask? Uh, a fiduciary is somebody who has been given the responsibility of acting on behalf of another person or an organization. So in the context of an estate, the executor is responsible for acting in the best interest of the estate and the estate beneficiaries, uh, owing all of the beneficiaries or the heirs, the duty of impartiality, of honesty, of loyalty. They're not allowed to do self-dealing. Uh, they really need to uh, be acting in the uh, best interest of all of the beneficiaries. So that's what an executor is. Now, what are they responsible for? Well, first of all, they're responsible for all of the assets of the estate. Uh, we've talked previously about what is an estate asset, what makes an asset part of an estate. Well, the executor is going to be responsible for managing all of those assets, whatever they are. It could be real estate. It could be uh, intangible personal property like bank accounts or uh, investment accounts, stock. It could be tangible personal property you know, the stuff that's in uh, the decedent's house, the executor is going to be responsible for all of that stuff. Once all that is done, all of those assets need to be identified. Some of them might need to be sold. Uh, once all of the assets have been identified and, and gotten to the point where the executor can do something with them, the executor is going to be responsible for paying the debts, claims, and expenses, uh, any taxes of the decedent or the estate. Uh, that might be the funeral and burial expenses, might be credit cards, it might be uh, income taxes, could be estate taxes. Uh, any of those uh, issues uh, that are present need to be identified. Uh, for any debts and claims against the estate, the executor needs to make sure that they're valid before they're paid. Uh, we're going to talk, uh, I think, next week about payment of debts in an Ohio estate. And that can be really tricky. So it's important that the executor understand what those duties and responsibilities are. Once the debts and claims and taxes have been paid, the executor is responsible for distributing the assets to the beneficiaries. That could be making a distribution outright. You know, that would be like giving an asset to the beneficiary, like a piece of real estate or a vehicle. It could be selling the assets and then distributing the net proceeds to the beneficiaries. Whatever the will calls for is what the executor would do if uh, it's necessary to liquidate so that assets can be distributed, then that's what that uh, how that would be done. Uh, of course, the executor has to file all of the appropriate documents with the probate court. Um, file with the, uh, with the IRS and the state, any income tax returns that might, might need to be done. So generally, those are the duties and responsibilities of the executor of the estate in Ohio. Uh, each individual estate is going to be different. Each uh, will have different specifics that need to be addressed. So while this is the general overall look at what the executor does, each individual estate will have a very specific list of things that the executor will need to do. So I hope that helps you understand the role of the executor. And if you're named as the executor of an estate, you'll know a little bit more about what you need to do. If you're thinking about who should you name as the executor of your estate, I hope this helps you identify the right person or people to serve in that role. Thanks for being here today, and we will see you next week.